Dr. Paul Hans Kramer is a medical physicist. He is, so to speak, the technical partner of the doctors at WPE. In this film, he explains about the technology used to treat patients and will also give us a glimpse of what lies behind the scenes, from the rotating gantry to the cyclotron. This is one of the treatment rooms, and in three of the rooms, we're able to determine the best beaming directions by moving the gantry. The advantage of this method is that we can avoid important organs that might get in the way, such as the kidneys or lungs, enabling us to provide the best possible care. For some treatments in the gantry, various adjustments are made to adapt the proton beam to the tumour and the affected organ. The brass diaphragms allow us to laterally limit the beam to the region containing diseased tissue. The plastic compensators, which are individually designed for each patient, also allow us to steer the beam to go deep into the tissue, so that dosage is not unnecessarily administered in front of and behind the tumour. But where do the necessary protons actually come from? To figure this out, we have to make our way from the gantry along the beam lines to a huge colossus made of steel and electromagnets. This is the heart of the proton therapy system, so to speak. Behind me you see the cyclotron. This is an accelerator in which the protons are brought to the required energy that we need to treat the patients. The proton's journey takes them through the beam line a ray highway with very special characteristics. Beside me, you can see into the system's beam guidance. Its purpose is to distribute the protons which have been accelerated in the cyclotron to the individual treatment rooms. It consists of the beam line and various magnets, which have the function of reconcentrating the charged particles and also redirecting them into the individual treatment rooms. A glance behind the gantry reveals another technical precision device. We are now behind the treatment room, which is normally not visible to the patient. We now see the extremely heavy steel construction that is needed to deflect the protons so that we can treat the patient from any direction. Here you can see that this technology makes it possible to treat tumours while protecting normal tissue. I find it especially inspiring to use this technology and what I've learned as a physicist here at the WPE to offer very precise care to people who come to see us because of a serious tumour disease.